Hello everyone, my name is Aiden and welcome to this video. So, this has been a long time coming, my shield storm defences for Twine Peaks. Now, I've been in Twine Peaks for God knows how long, a long time of course, and the thing was I didn't have any reason to do my shield storm defences nor the missions because I had access to all of the missions that I needed to do to progress in the game as I wanted, i.e. the four player level 100 missions and stuff like that and all the other missions. Now, the thing was, uh, about a month ago, they updated the game, so uh, you had to be a certain level to access each of these missions. Now, I'm actually leveled for all these missions, but for some reason I couldn't access them, so I had to complete my Shield Storm defense to get up to like, unlock all of these uh, these missions. Now, as you can see here, this was Shield Storm Defense 4. We completed that, and this is Shield Storm Defense 5. Now, I actually froze. This is my Fortnite Frozen. It's not a still image. As you can see there, Fortnite closes. Obviously, my homepage, I've sped this up, but... Um... <laughs> so, whilst we were in my Shield Storm Defense, it froze for me, and in my get... My friends, so Lion and the Pride, shout out to Lion, uh, and a couple of others that were helping, they were in my shield storm defense without me just completing it whilst I was trying to log back in. And uh, I was hoping that obviously it didn't like kick them out or anything because I was the host because it's my shield storm or storm shield defense. I know you guys get like tilted when I say it wrong, but I'm so, I'm so used to saying shield storm defense for some reason. Is that's what it is? That's what we're going to call it now. Epic changed the name to shield storm defense to storm shield defense because. I can't change my ways. Um, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. But uh, yeah, I managed to join back in time, as you can see here. And uh, I was playing the big boy Ranger Dead Eye with the fans revolt. The thing was, all of us were competing to get the highest score. It was absolutely crazy. Normally, the uh, the person that we're doing the defense for would get the most score by far because of all the traps. But as you can see here, we're we're in the spawn. We are. <clears throat> deep right now and there are no traps and this the thing was because I was doing shield storm defense 4 5 and 6 back to back to back with this group because it's this is a, a dream team um, yeah I didn't even have all of it built so obviously my score doesn't count because I joined in late but I did get 2k and uh, now we're on to shield storm defense 6 so uh, the final wave I actually thought that we finished I thought that was the final wave we just done so I literally stand here like a wet lemon for about 14 seconds I'm like, yeah, cheers, y'all. Cheers, a bit of love. And um, and <laughs> I'm like, why is the game not ending? What's happening? I've done that. And now I see line running. I check the time. I see wave five out of five starts in 20 odd seconds. I was like, da -da 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 that's uh, that's me trying to do the sandstorm <laughs> peep bugs because uh, you know it's really quick. But yeah, you know, obviously I'm pacing with the Outlander. Luckily, I've got my time shift phase, whatever you want to call it. So it's easy for me to get over there. But poor Lion and his thick constructor, god damn thick, thick cow, and uh, he can't get there too quickly. But easy six minute defense. I mean, it's a long. It felt like ages, man. Shieldstorm defense after six get a bit silly just for how long they take. Not so much how hard they are. Unless you're doing it solo, a bit like Sir Sensei David Dean. And you're, you're soloing it with traps and it's pretty exquisite. And that's definitely worth recording and showing others. If you guys ever do it, you know, upload it to YouTube. I want to watch that sort of stuff. I love watching people do crazy challenges like that. That's how I found David Dean back in the day was um, via his shield twine twine peaks shield storm defense 10 solo oh my goodness still a crazy video to this day to be honest now we've got five minutes which can lead me on to this the new cram session point six update so if you guys don't know magist or uh i don't want to mock his name not mock it but i can't say it is it magist i think it is magist i'm gonna get We'll call him Magist, all right? So Mr. Magist posts, Hey everyone, in V6.0, Thursday the 9th, uh, the 27th of the 9th, we will be introducing a mini event. Okay, so a mini event, huh? So obviously what we've had recently is just all events. So, uh, you know, this is the road trip event, but this one's going to be called the mini event. It's a mini event. And there's quite a few twists with it. This event will not have any special llamas or tickets and will be focused on gathering resources to prepare for the events ahead. Oh, god damn! Do you know what that means? That means they want us to grind our socks off until the new thing. Which, 
Ooh, it, it, it's cheeky because what am I meant to grind for? I'm assuming materials and stuff. That's what they want us to get. So, they either have a lot of heroes, weapons and stuff coming out in the next update. Or they're just, uh, they're trying to get people to progress a bit quicker. They're trying to help people progress, get into Twine Peaks, Lake County a bit quicker than being stuck in there for 14 months because everyone's trade scamming. So, <laughs> so uh, what else it says on this, um... On this Reddit post. If you didn't know, I I do mince around on Reddit. I do have an account. It's called Aiden OP. Um, you know, so if you see me in there, hello. <laughs> but yeah, that's my account, Aiden OP. If you see any other accounts uh, that might be trying to pretend to be me, I, I don't think there is. Uh, there would be no reason to. But just in case, you know, one of them goes, "Hey, you all suck. I'm the king," which. <laughs> I would never say that, obviously, but if someone did and they were trying to say it was me, I'm sure most of you would be like, well, this arsehole needs to shut up, because that's not Aiden. But yeah, m why am I still talking about this? Anyway, let's talk about what the Cram Session post had to say. During the Cram Session, you'll earn increased rewards by completing mini-boss mission alerts, going back to 10 alerts for this event. So, um... Back in the day, you used to have a limited amount of alerts. You used to have 10 of them a day. Uh, a lot of people used to use the phone app. I can't remember its name, but it used to tell you how many alerts you had left. Very handy. Uh, but now, obviously, we have unlimited, so there's no point for it. It was voided. So we, But now we've got 10 for this event. I'm sure you can all count to 10 if you can't. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 11, 10. There you go. Okay, and then the next one we have, complete the four quest lines. These quests have 10 stages each, which grant significant one-time rewards on completion. Hero, schematic, survivor XP, evolution materials, or gold. So that's 40-odd mini-quest things. That's quite big. Complete four quest lines. These each have 10 stages. Wow. Wow, that's a lot. Um, I haven't even completed the current Candy Valley stages, let alone new ones. I think I might grind them out today, actually. I might go just finish off, because I still don't even have that mythic constructor you get. <laughs> I still don't have him. But uh, apart from that, and it, and it also says, in addition to featuring a new weapon or hero each week, several old favourites will be returning to the event store. For me and a lot of people, we were obviously thinking, that this is Gravedigger thingy. And... Um, I could have properly clickbaited this video for like Grave Digger returning. I probably will throw it in the thumbnail. I probably will. Oh my god, I've actually clickbaited. Who am I? Who am I? Twine Cheeks? Um, what other ones are there? I'm trying to. I, Magical Gamer? Is that one? The scamming. I'm trying to think of these those terrible scamming channels that just. <laughs> I, I have to admit, I do, I do laugh at the thumbnails because I, I think one of the kids, they. Um, they took a gun from another game, put a yellow sort of glow around it, and they were like scamming new kids for new mythic weapon. And I was cracking up. I was like, yo, people actually think that's a new mythic weapon. Like, look at the design of it. That's clearly not created by Fortnite. It just cracks me up sometimes. Oh, God, I hate that stuff as well, though. But, yeah, so there is a good chance that uh, the Gravedigger might return. If Epic are going to be serious about fixing Save the World, just bring back the Gravedigger because people... St I have to admit, the hype for it has died down because there are so many good weapons now. But um, I feel like because there are so many good weapons now, you could bring back the Gravedigger. And the, it'll probably be the second best or third best assault rifle because I have to admit the, the Wraith is absolutely running wonders for me at the moment. And um, what other assault rifles? I mean, the Tiger's pretty brilliant, but I'd probably put the Wraith as my number one at the moment. It's pretty crazy. And then Gravedigger will probably go second if I did get my hands on it. But yeah, that would be nice to see that come back. But hopefully, in any way, there will be a bunch of old stuff returning, a bit like the Birthday Llamas. But it will be to the event store. So I know the Gravedigger wasn't an event store item, but... Um, Hey, we can all pray. We can all pray and spray. Uh, he also mentioned that if you have your two-factor authenticator activated on your account, which I hope you will do, if you haven't, I really propose that you go do that now. It's very, very important. You will receive 50 armory slots, 10 backpack slots, and one legendary troll slash llama for yourself for free when you next log in after the 6.0 update. So it's definitely worth enabling that, both for your own security and you're going to get a bunch of rewards. There's no reason not to, really. There's lots of pros just from this tiny little post here from uh, Magis, so thank you to that. And there we go, Shieldstorm Defense 6. Thank you, Shiny 
Fossey and Lion for your help. We absolutely smashed that. Big up Lion and the Pride. Go check him out on Twitch TV slash Lion and the Pride. And guys, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and hit the subscribe button to be notified with my videos. And I will see you in the next one. Adios.